Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing caracaras. Caracaras aren't as well known as they should be. They kind of look like long-legged hawks and act a lot like vultures, but they're actually most closely related to falcons. Unlike most falcons who are amazing aerodynamic acrobats, caracaras spend most of their lives on the ground, or at least flying quite close to it. These birds have long legs and flat talons that are used for walking around. They can fly, and they aren't bad at it either, but they are just more commonly seen taking a stroll as they search for food. Caracaras are birds native to the Americas. They are most abundant in South America, though there are populations throughout Central America, and a single species found in the most southern parts of North America. The amount of caracara species is debated, but generally falls between 6 to 10. Caracaras have been described as crow-like in appearance, though they have more patterns to boast than the general uni- or bicolored corvids. Of course, we can't forget the blue jays, though. In size, caracaras range from 1.2 to 2 feet in length and have wingspans up to 50 inches. They are often quite conspicuous because they have brightly colored faces. What's amazing about these color patches is that they are able to change color. For example, the crested caracara's face may appear yellow, but change to a bright red under different conditions. Caracaras live from sea level to 4.3 miles of elevation in mountainous regions. They inhabit a range of habitats from open plains, rocky coastlines, wetlands, even farmlands, though generally they like open areas with lots of available food. These birds are sometimes killed because of their food habits. Like vultures, caracaras are scavengers and opportunists. They'll gather in flocks around carrion and are even strong enough to drive other scavengers from that meal. Due to their presence at animal carcasses, they're sometimes believed to have caused the death of said animals, which can be quite annoying to a farmer with a misunderstanding. In fact, the Guadalupe Island caracara went extinct at the turn of the 19th century, in part due to persecution from farmers. Generally, caracaras can't bring down adult livestock animals like goats and sheep, though they are strong enough to take out babies. Of course, caracaras also take food in the form of small mammals and reptiles as well as other birds. Caracaras may even take penguin chicks if given the opportunity. They can also act as aerial pirates, able to chase other birds, like vultures, and force them to give up a meal or even regurgitate the meal that they already ate. While all of this might make caracaras seem like jerks, some of these traits are actually shared with bald eagles, so maybe it just depends on perspective. Caracaras build their own nests, often using the nest from a previous year. These are non-migratory birds, and they'll mate for life. The nest may be found anywhere from 8 to 50 feet off the ground, often in a tree or other sort of tall vegetation. Both parents incubate the two to four eggs in the nest and will continue feeding the chicks once they hatch about a month later. It may take anywhere from 6 to 10 weeks before the young leave the nest, and they'll stick around for a few more weeks as their parents continue to feed them. While the adults don't move around much once they've settled into a spot, the young birds may travel far from their birthplace before finding a spot of their own. Apart from anthropogenic threats, caracaras are vulnerable to animals like raccoons and crows while they're young, though adults are typically left alone. Caracaras may live to be at least two decades old. For more facts on caracaras, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Atrocious Allosaurus and Agatha Lyricu for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.